Hello Troy Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome to our brand new daily playthrough. This will be the Fisherman's Run, where I will go through the game and I will only use weapons that I find from fishing or stuff that I find in crates. And this will continue into hard mode and will progress from there. Now a buddy of mine, Python, actually did this and he did it as a hard mode challenge until he died. And so I went and asked him, I said, is it okay if we do this? And he said, yes. He says, however, when he did it... What he did was he waited until he got a heart, no, a golden crate until he was allowed to upgrade his health. However, we're not going to be sticking with that because I would die very, very fast. So, welcome, my friends. This is Tom. Meet Tom. Tom the Fisherman. Now, I named Tom Tom because I used to have a friend called Tom who never stopped speaking about fishing. He used to speak about fishing night and day, right? He just loved it, right? And he used to have all these really stupid fishing uh, cliches that he used to talk about. And so, if I feel like there's an appropriate time to talk about one, I, I am going to, right? Like, for example, like a really good example of this is, you need fisherman's rhyming slang to refer to the weather, right? So, if it's raining, what is it? It's fisherman's net. Wet, right? That's the kind of thing we're going for here. Alright, so before I can actually begin this playthrough, I am going to set up a tiny little base for the merchant, the guide, and a nurse. And I'm going to do all that in a little bit of a jump cut. Because for this playthrough to begin, we do need a merchant so that we can buy the bug net. So that's it. And today's episode is going to be focused on one, getting an established uh, little area of the world. And two, maybe setting up some ponds. So I'm going to set up uh, a house now and I'll jump cut ahead. So that's the house out of the way. I know it's not completely done. And we found our first pond. So I'm just going to show you where on the map we are. We actually are just a little bit to the right. So I'm going to finish up the second bit of this house later on. But first we have some things to craft. So for one, I am going to craft a wooden sword. And that's because we do need to get enough silver to actually let the guy move in. And we shall also craft our first fishing pole. Oh, that's really nice. So we are going to try and tackle some, uh, some enemies now. Uh, like I say, we just need enough for the merchant, which will just be 50 silver. So we can try and find that in chests or we can try and find a pink slime. Or, if we had a merchant, we could sell this goodie bag, and that would do the exact same thing. But yeah, so I'm just going to keep fending off enemies, and when it gets daytime, we shall see what happens. Okay, so I just looted this chest down below, so I want to use this as a good example to demonstrate what we will keep and what we will not. An aglet is an accessory we can get in a crate, so we're not keeping it. Same with the iron bars, same with the shuriken, and, well, no, I got the lens naturally. But yeah, so I've come down here to try and find a little bit of extra money. Uh, doesn't seem like I'm going to just yet. <laughs> but this is another little pond area, I guess. Okay, so it's daytime again. I do not have enough silver for a merchant, but I do have 23, which is not a bad start. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to the left. We're going to see what's on the left, and then we'll see what's on the right. Hopefully, uh, we get enough. Uh, we get enough moolah. Or Zula, or whatever kind of uh, term you want to use for money, so we, we actually get a merchant so we can start our fishing. So, one of the things that we do need to start is we need, well, one of the things we need to get is we need to get an angler because he's going to give us daily quests. And the sooner we start on them, the better because you can only do one a day. So, we need to start on our angler quest. We also need to basically get like a grasp on the world because if we don't understand where all the ponds are that we're going to use and we don't understand like how to navigate our world without dying and such. It's going to take a long time. I do know that this is a corruption world, so we're going to have to put in place some platforms and such so we can kind of navigate through there and not get too swamped and such. I do believe I can actually just start farming for crates the second I actually get my, um, my bug net because I can start catching worms. We just need 50 silver for the merchant to move in and then it's only 25 silver to buy it, so we should be fine for money. Alright, okay, we're going to smash this pot just because if we get a coin portal, it would be awesome. Which I don't think we're going to get. So, we'll continue on this way. So, I've only seen a tiny little bit of the world. Um, so, we've still got lots to explore. So, we'll get this. Eh, hey, there we go. Silver's racking up pretty quickly now. Let's just grab all this. We'll go back and get that chest. So, there we go. What that put is up to 32. Yeah, see, that's all you need. All you need is one good little chest. Okay, we're going to keep... Uh, do we keep the radar? Um, I don't feel like we're allowed. So I'm going to bin the radar. Uh, we will keep potions though, because potions are going to be pretty handy. And to be honest, we can craft them anyway, so. Alright, let's carry on. Got a nice little squirrel there. 
How you doing, buddy? I'm gonna move through the world. Okay, so there's no, it doesn't seem to be any more pots. We have got another bit of water here, which is nice, I guess. Um, huh. All right, okay, let's carry on this way. All right, so it's either jungle or desert biome this way. Ah, see, awesome. We got another, and we got a nice little one of these. I can't remember the name of a strange plant, which is cool because I do like dyes. Anybody that's watched one of my playthroughs before um, knows that I do like strange plants because I like talking about dyes. And if you haven't seen me before, hello everybody, my name is James. Uh, I make Terraria videos and this is a brand new playthrough. Okay, so let's loot all this. Is there anything we need to throw? I think we need to throw that um, and that should be good. So how much does that give us? That gives us 48, so we just need a tiny little bit more. So that takes us up to 49, maybe if we kill this guy down here. Oh, we've got a die trader. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got a die trader because I got the strange plant, which means that we don't have... I'll tell you what it does mean, actually. It means we can sell them stuff. Ah, there we go. Keen thinking. Keen thinking. All right, okay. Let's come back up here. Let's finish off our base house. All right, let's finish off the base house so we get a merchant. And then, because uh, I can sell him some stuff, I could probably sell him... Well, I'm going to get a strange plant either way. All right, so let's carry on. Because we need to finish that top room so that the merchant moves in so that we can buy the bug net to start the fishing. Ah, yes. That's what it's all about. We've got a bird there. We've got loads of little uh, grassy areas, like one there that we can use for farming for worms. Okay, hello, sir. Strange plant. What do you give us? Glowing mushroom. Oh yeah, we have nothing. Uh, we have nothing to actually die other than our than our pet. <laughs> that looks weird. I kind of like it though. I kind of like it. All right, shop. Let's sell him some. Let's sell him some glowing mushroom dye. <laughs> now we got lots of gold. Okay, awesome. All right, so let's go and finish this house up here. Uh, it just needs uh, a table. Let's have a look. All right, it needs a table. We'll give it two chairs. And it'll probably need about a hundred and some of this. All right, that'll do. And obviously, if we have too much there, we could just use it for other projects. All right, let's come up here. All right, so we should get a merchant moving pretty fast once we get this finished up. And we started a good, cool, uh, a good little collection of money. The good thing is, once you actually have a book net, you can actually there's like various different ways to get money. Like you can capture animals, like penguins, and they sell for like twenty five silver. Uh, certain bait sell for stuff and once we have fishing stuff we can start farming for crates um, which I know by the way I'm gonna probably open up the wooden crates and save the gold crates for hard mode um, so then that way we don't uh, we will we actually have something in hard mode to open I definitely do need to farm some crates for hard mode but we're getting ahead of ourselves we're not even tackling the first boss for a while so I'm gonna take it nice and slow as the fisherman says what's the fisherman say uh, give a guy a fish, he'll eat for a day, teach him how to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. There we go, quote number one, from my good man Tom. <laughs> Alright, okay, so Tom has a nice house for his merchant, right? Okay, let's go get our bug net and let's get a crafting. Oh god, I killed the bunny that looks like a slime. I tell you what, I love around Halloween when they have bunnies that look like slimes and slimes that look like bunnies. Alright, bug net. Okay, so this is the start of our fishing experience. All right, let's let's uh, let's get started. Okay, so what do we need? We need to uh, craft, uh, well, we need to get some worms, so we need to break some blocks. All right, I feel like there's some more mossy stuff on the other side, so we're gonna go on the other side. All right. Now, I actually left this area flat right here, just so it's like a nice little, like, grassy area. I wanted the, I wanted the area that we lived in to look kind of natural. Like, I wanted it to look, um, I wanted it to look nature-y and such, so. That's how I, that's why I built it here, why I built it on top of a pond. Alright, okay, oh, we've got two worms from that, awesome. Oh, almost caught a blue jay. Although I think I'm not going to catch one until I can fly. Okay, got a wiggly worm there. Alright, we can't grab him, that's okay. Alright, got a worm there. Okay, awesome, we're getting some, uh, we're getting some good stuff already. Alright, shall we try our fishing rod out just before we go and uh, look for the angler? Because obviously we'll, once we start the quest to looking for the angler, we're going to get murdered on the way. Because either way, we're going to have to go through some kind of like kind of dangerous biome. 
So I don't want to get murdered straight away. I don't want to... Do you know what I mean? I don't want to, like, set this off to a bad tone. Okay. Ooh. Wiggly worm. Got him. Got him, got him. I tell you what, one thing I did during the night time is I actually uh, went and found some stars. I think I have three. And that will give us some enhanced bait, which would be good. Okay, right. Um, all right, I feel like that's going to maybe... Let's keep going until we have... Oh, I was, I was going to say let's keep going until we have ten. I thought we had about six. No, I've actually got quite a lot of worms. All right, cool. All right, we're going to get rid of this guy. Okay, get rid of you. Goodbye, sir. There we go. Now let's take that. Okay, so we now have a fishing rod. We have bait. We have a bug net. And we're going to start fishing. We're going to do a few little minutes of fishing. Maybe like two minutes of fishing. And then we'll go looking for an angler. Let me see. It's probably best that we go... Probably best that we stay to the right side when we go look for an angler. I believe, though, that it'll spawn either side. It'll spawn... Whichever side of the ocean you go to first, he'll kind of like come and drift along. I usually just find them anywhere, to be honest. They usually just kind of come about on their own. Alright, so let's try fishing out. Oh, got a bass. Okay, that's cool. Got another bass. What are we going to get? I got another bass. Okay. Right, let's come down here. Oh, we've got a bunny there, so we're going to grab him. Whoop! There we go. We can sell him later. Alright, let's wait for the bob to bob. Obviously, in the future, when we carry on like getting different fishing poles... Oh, we got our first crate! Oh, that's crate. As in great. Um, obviously, as time goes on, the, the better fishing stuff that we get, the faster this uh, fishing experience will be. Oh, I got another crate! Oh, yeah. Okay. And another. Are we going to get another? Ooh. Ooh, is it going to bob? All right, cool. I don't want to push our luck. I feel like four crates is going to be enough. Okay, so we got an extractor. Now, this is one of the things that uh, Python recommended to me. He said, um, use, stuff, use the extractor. You're allowed to use the extractor for stuff. I feel like that's pretty fair. Got some heart reach potions here, which are going to be fantastic. Got some hunter ones. They're going to be great. Oh, wow. Guys, we're actually off to a pretty good start. I'm liking the fisherman quest already. Uh, we just need to find... Um, we just need to find Thingy. We just need to find the angler. Right, let's sell this bass. Let's sell a bunny. Uh, let's keep our bait for now. All right, cool. All right, we need to make a furnace then, don't we? We need to... Um, Need to make sure we have a furnace for this episode, just so we can actually use some of the bars that we're going to get. Catch that bunny, because we can sell him. He didn't sell for as much as I was hoping. I feel like penguins sell for more. So if we're near an ice biome, we'll have to keep a keen eye on that. I don't want to grab too much of this, because I don't want to ruin our world. I like the I like the look of our little uh, entrance down to this little secret pond. Okay. Alright, okay, so we've got 20 stone. Let's jump up here. Alright, so we should be able to now craft a furnace. Bam, so we crafted a furnace. Should be now able to craft a lead anvil, because we have enough lead, which is great. What else have we got? Let's melt down our ore, so we got how much silver? We've got four silver, awesome. Alright, so what do we have to look out for now? One, we're going to have to look out for an angler. Two, we're going to have to look out for things to put inside of the actual uh, extractor. And three, we're going to have to go and find our angler, right? He he won't be too far away. I can, uh, I can promise you that. I feel like he's going to be very, very close indeed. So we shall see. But there you go. That has been the episode one of today's fishing quest. Make sure to check back tomorrow for another daily adventure. Uh, we're going to be carrying this on every single day, hopefully. If not, it'll have an interval of about one day for other videos. So it should be good. So if this is the first video you've seen of mine, welcome to the channel. Make sure to click that subscribe button. By clicking that button, you'll be able to see all of my latest content straight to your homepage. And especially this brand new series, which has started out really fantastically. Fishing is new to me. So if you guys have any tips and stuff, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And if it's really, really long, you can always send me an email. I have an email in the description for every single person that ever wants to email me. And it goes straight through to my phone, so I always see it. 
So yeah, have a fantastic day, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one. <laughs> Got a goldfish. Peace.